If I'm here and he's here, that means we all here. Ah! We got casual geographic today. Should we let nature finally delete pandas? Why would we want Whoa! that? It meant you could cut it. Why would we want that? Why would we want that? You seen our red pandas before? Oh, yeah. yeah they mad. Bad. And you. they be like this. Yeah, they're like, and, and you can feed them. Oh, God. Yeah, they mad cute. <laughs> Okay. What the fuck? Are you, what are you I feel like it's been a minute since we watched a video from him. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, his videos are very educational, yeah, nah, informational. Yeah, they just take a lot of time to make, <laughs> bro. I don't know, I don't know, bro. Man. Shout out to Casual Geographic. Link to the original video down below. Go check it out. With that being said, <laughs> Billy. Bow. Oh. Hey, they what do the be doing that. They be mad clumsy, bro. Yeah. What's the plan, bro? What the Everything hell? is awesome when you're a panda. Damn, Damn bro. That I'm saying. Nature isn't about Yo, he hopped over him. It's survival of just barely being good enough. If life was a class, it wouldn't be about Yo, that's our son right now. It did ass is. Yo. Yeah. All right, so there's wildfires in Canada. Yeah. That's up over yonder. Yeah. We are in New York. Yep. That's down that way, right? Yeah. If you're looking at the map, yes. How or why, bro? Canada has to be burning for us to like yes. see that. Yes, it's really, really burning. Yeah. So outside is completely yellow. Yeah. There's smoke everywhere. Yeah. Like you could visibly see it and yeah. smell it. Like yeah. we got a notification saying like our air quality is bad. bad. Don't go outside. Yeah. Hey man. What? We gotta keep working though. That's you know what I'm saying. Uh, exactly. But yeah, it literally looks like yeah. this outside. It's an apocalypse. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what? Oh my God. Of nature. Cheetahs are the red. Oh. Of the <laughs> Not the Tom and Jerry. And roasting koalas is considered low-hanging fruit only because they happen to share the same IQ, and also because they put the mid in chlamydia. And it seems that oh, everyone can agree that pandas are egregiously bad at pandaing, and that we as a society need to stop being this biracial Winnie the Pooh's crutch and just let nature finish what it's. Oh my damn! We oh, gonna get up like. Did we successfully like, nah, gaslight like, the barcode bears of the world, or do pandas really profit off the most OP, pretty privileged getting How juicy nature's ever seen? What is he doing? Oh, he's at the bro. top of the top and dwindling with his fucking toes. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you doing, bro? <laughs> but I'll be at the bottom like, how would you get up there, bro? I'm like, bro, come down right now. Oh, God. Yo. Now, first, we gotta lay out all the factors that make the what private the? panda challenge Damn. impossible. But before that, this video was sponsored by absolutely no one. Let's get it. Oh, you wow. You know that the panda's biggest problem revolves around it being a bamboo sink. 99% of the things that meets this oversized quality hamster's gullet is bamboo. Huh. Despite clearly being designed with carnivore software, mm. it's the koala problem of building your entire meal plan around something that gives you very little back. That boy's That's why pandas can spend okay. up to 16 hours a day eating something they can only digest 17% of. Damn. The very Whoa. definition of injustice is that when you Google sloth bear, this monochromatic tryhard vegan doesn't show up since their diet of scarfing bamboo often leaves them with very little energy for anything else. Huh. So to accommodate this self-imposed energy budget, Pandas developed relatively smaller sized organs, including, you guessed it, their brains. Oh. And so oh. Uh, John Panda is also a human found uh, their size. The animal have a smaller brain, yeah, liver, and kidneys, kidneys than other bears. Okay. These small organs most likely need less energy to function, hmm. saving the panda's precious calories. Hmm. Oh, that's why they're so tubby. Yeah. But like, they spend, he said six or 16 hours. I think he said. Because if it's 16, that's a lot. Yeah. If it's six, lot. That's still a lot. Bro. I mean, yeah. Man, like, for six hours? Hey, bro. That's all they gotta do. They ain't got work. They ain't got no bills. They, <laughs> they got no bills, bro. Me. <laughs> but yeah, being a bimbo for bamboo might have literally yeah. nerfed their intelligence in the process. And some of you may have asked yourselves why the breathing bamboo purses don't just hibernate, since hibernation is basically power save mode for animals, and if anyone needs to save energy, it's pandas. Huh. Well, mm. one, bears technically aren't even true hibernators. But oh. two, even if they were, eating like the vegan teacher's lap dog means pandas are physically incapable of putting on the fat reserves required to hibernate for months at a time without also getting permanent motivation. But honestly, the problems with their diet have low key been overblown. If being a bamboo junkie was their only issue, they wouldn't be as chronically down bad. Huh. At their core, animals have two main oh. goals food. Yeah, what are you doing? And another Yo, oh, oh my god. god. We see how they handle their you meal plans. It's their love life that really screws pandas over. Pandas are absurdly Damn. bad at making more pandas. Off really? rip, their window to reproduce isn't even really a window. It's more like a hairline crack in the windshield. What? Female really? pandas ovulate one to three days out of the entire year. 
That's oh only 24 to 72 hours are open for business out of a possible 8,760. Damn, this is being wow. Big bamboo means they eat, sleep, and socialize like a stereotypical Reddit user. Finding a possible partner is often equally as difficult for them. Huh. Even if he does manage to track a female down, he still has a high risk of fumbling the opportunity because males are apparently illiterate at reading signs. Oh, <laughs> wow. Males often struggle to interpret the signs that a female actually wants to make. Ooh, uh, she you backing that how thing much, up. Bro, how much hobby? He like... Bro, let my girl put her booty on my face like that. <laughs> what, what I'm doing? He like, I'm, I'm in. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the only thing getting screwed is the future of your progeny. And even if the female is 100% with it, it's still not a for sure thing. Partly because male pandas struggle through the process of procreation in a way that is almost impressive, but also partly due to the panda's reportedly disproportionately tiny penis. Uh -oh. Which is why panda coitus is a lot like trying to get a quarter inch USB into a port block Damn. while also wearing a 200 pound fat suit. Damn. Oh, and try without using thumbs. Nature did this obese oppression Yo, wow. zero wow. fingers. Their mating habits are a big reason why the double stuffed Ursus Orioles are what with the they are. Pandas and breeding programs in captivity often show Yo. people interest in their little <laughs> only job that researchers have resorted to showing them videos of pandas mating. Apart from pulling videos from Panda Hub, researchers have also resorted to giving them actual Viagra. Although you'd need what a magnifying the? glass to see if it's working, because again, the P in Panda does not stand for packing. And even what though the? most pandas rely on the grace of God as a wingman, somehow the jihad of life doesn't end once they add new names to the roster. Pandas are some of the worst parents on the planet. Oh. You've probably heard that if a panda has twins, one of them is a guaranteed loss since the mother panda will abandon half her litter and leave that one twin to die. What? Of course, when you consider that grizzly bears will allegedly disown their cubs, but they only do it when there's one, since they'd rather start over with two to four cubs than put all their hopes in stock in one. The Damn, wait, panda what? Panda doesn't get off scot-free either, since the yin yang colored chonk bears of China have the highest mother to baby size ratio of any mammal. To put it in perspective, humans are typically 20 times bigger than their babies. Mother African elephants are typically 45 times heavier. A mama panda is approximately 900 times the size of her new Yo, baby. Yo, brother, crush that motherfucker. Brother. That's a chihuahua. How does that turn into that? I don't know. But nature like, is crazy, bro. bro. I don't know, bro. Wow. They don't have pouches like marsupials, that puts the panda at a legitimate risk of being turned into a chalk outline by its own oblivious mother. <laughs> Just another way nature sets its horrified like cow gerbil up for failure. And it's not even like domestication is an option. A good reason is because, despite what the black and white beta bamboo might tell you, it's still a bear, and a bear is a bear is a bear. And the yeah. black sheep of the bear brotherhood is still alive. He's a come in! Come in! <laughs> but take your jacket off! Bamboo, he can't! Like more comparable to big cats like lions. In case you thought this plus size Oreo was sweet, one man nearly lost his whole leg after a giant panda wandered onto his land and crushed his leg like celery. Oh and there's a fact that high volume, low efficient diet means Ew, that one man bamboo processing plant known as the panda can poop a healthy 40 times a day. 40?! Living in the chilly, mountainous forests of Asia, pandas figured out that they can stay warm by rolling around and covering themselves in fresh manure. Ew! So want to add a bite Bro, what are y'all doing?! Sewer smelling dependence to your family, like I always say, you're better off having children. Because there are no tax credits for providing for pandas. In fact, the opposite. Pandas quite literally Aww. cost millions of dollars just to keep alive. But mostly that's because giant pandas are leased by the Chinese government at approximately a fat million a year. Huh. If one of those pandas gets knocked up, that'll set you back a cub tax of about 400000 Which is why, currently, only three zoos in the U.S. have a biracial bamboo munching beanbag of a bear on display. Hmm. One of those zoos used to be San Diego. I say used to because one of the consequences of renting pandas is that gives China the ammunition to be petty. Damn. I'm not a political channel. I'll never be a political channel. I'm not implying any type of affiliation or bias. I'm just listing two things that happened. In 2019, Trump may or may not have uh -oh. fueled a trade war against China. And come May 2019, a mother panda and her son were recalled and sent back to China. Damn. Now you could argue the trade war had nothing to do with it, and this was just the natural end of a panda. Wow. But 10 mm. years earlier in 2009, Taishan the panda was deported not long after Obama met with the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama is, as far as China is concerned, an op. So my <laughs> whole conclusion is China uses pandas for diplomacy, but also as a vehicle of petty punishment. That's not really the panda's fault, but at this point we might as well hold it against them too. We didn't even mention the fact that pandas aren't even really pandas. When Zuala okay, so the movie first used the word it? panda in twenty five. He was describing the red-headed raccoon we call the Red Panda. Mm. The furry orca known as the Giant Panda wasn't named until much later, and it mm. only got its name because at the time they thought it had a lot in common with the Red Panda. Mm. Turns out, they're not even close to being related, mm. meaning this overgrown zebra yogi isn't even the original panda. And the fact that it's monochrome- Aww, Aww, so cute, man. So cute. He be like, cute-ass panda, man. 
Well, I get one of those. Pandas, yeah. Not live action oh. Shifu is one of the biggest injustices of nature. Oh. This is the OG panda, but the newspaper flavored cloud guzzling frost took up just enough space to convince the world otherwise. So obviously, pandas have their problems, and you can argue that their best Damn. is being a luck merchant. There is no other animal that gets carried harder by pretty privilege than the endgame of a sloth bear raccoon orgy. And they're the only creature on Earth with black and white privilege. Because the reason <laughs> Japanese for the mascot of the World Wildlife Fund is literally because having a mascot with the same color patterns as 1940s TV saves you a lot of money on ink. Yo, that sounds like a joke, but I'm not even kidding. If pants were black and yellow or black and brown, they might not have gotten the job. But that is uh, yeah. the consensus is that pants are so bad at panning that we should just let the flex of China fade into oblivion. He's a mighty mighty. <laughs> But is that really true, or have we just been doing giant pandas incredibly dirty this entire time? First thing to mention is that they're a specialist species, with that specialty being in binging bamboo. Being yeah. a specialist rather than a generalist means you can typically tap into a niche nobody else can. But that means they can adapt to changes in their environment. That also means that there are only a couple things going wrong away from getting evicted from reality. Having a very particular set of skills might be great if you're Liam Neeson, but it can severely handicap you as a species. And the funny thing is, for all the crap pandas get, the biggest and arguably most intimidating land predator on the planet is a specialist. Polar bears depend almost entirely Ooh, on no. sea ice to hunt. Yeah. If that goes away, then it's bye-bye ice bear. But for Damn. some reason, we don't <laughs> on the polar bear nearly as much for being dependent on ice as we lampoon pandas for their life choices. Especially since it's habitat destruction and fragmentation that mm. really had giant pandas down bad. Yeah. You see, it's believed the panda bear once had more variety in his diet and was more omnivorous. But likely because there was just so much bamboo everywhere and virtually zero competition for it, eventually they shifted into primarily eating bamboo. It also turns out that the bamboo they eat is high in protein, but low in carbs. Mm. So despite seeming like that one so, person would bring a veggie burger to a cookout, weirdly enough, the giant pan is protein- So, we just discovered how to get big. Oh God, we just need some of that bamboo. We just need we some just, bamboo, You bro. know what I'm saying? Are we, are we like, do we have the, the jaw power to break that down? I, like, is that hard or am I tweaking? I don't know. <laughs> but we might not even have like the stomach to even break that shit down internally. Shit. I fuck don't around, know. fuck around. Next video we gonna be 300. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Bill. It's right. actually close to that of wolves. They're also particular about the part of bamboo they like to eat and when. According to studies on radio collared pandas, in the summer and spring, they prefer to eat the protein-packed shoots found at higher altitudes. But during autumn and winter, they migrate down into the valley and shift more towards eating bamboo leaves, which are high in vitamin C, along with roots. And they just move Bro. from high to low to high again. They may in. have low brains, but it's crazy how they know that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do they know the... F I don't know. I don't know. It is Something crazy. that's clearly worked for them since they've been just fine like this for thousands of years. So much so that the umami taste receptor, i.e. the one that lets you experience the savory taste of meat, yeah, theirs got turned off. And they even Damn, evolved wow. a false thumb for no other reason than to help them hold bamboo. Oh. So clearly pandas had a process that worked. The problem is when you fragment the habitat they spent thousands of years in and separate them from the food, the result is less pandas. Hmm. We love to say pandas are bad at life, but by receding their habitat like a middle-aged hairline, we haven't made living any easier. Hmm. Also, the whole point I made about pandas being bad at making whoopee, turns out that might just be propaganda. Because oh. in a twist, the giant panda's reproductive rate really isn't that much worse than that of American black bears. Oh. And black bears... Oh, they everywhere. Fine. In fact, everything I said about pandas having negative riz really only applies to those in captivity. In the wild, female pandas do have a small window for baby making, but that's often after a selection process that involves at least two males running fades for her honor. In a process that can last up to and over a week. And we now oh. believe that this process okay. might just be what stimulates ovulation. You can't really replicate that in a zoo, and between that and a constant flow of people, that's probably the biggest reason why He's like, yeah, I picked you! Right? I'm ready! Like, right? being real, if you were forced into an arranged marriage and had to have an audience watch you consummate it, you'd be a little awkward, too. <laughs> there is no bigger indictment than the fact that a zoo in Hong Kong had been trying to hook up two pandas for the better part of 10 years. And it wow. wasn't until a certain beer virus of 2020 shut down the zoo to the public that the two <laughs> bears finally got it on. Roommates for 10 years and Wait, all so, so, so there you go. That proves it. Like... They don't want to be seen. I mean, yeah. I mean, nobody want to be seen. It is kind of odd. So right ten now. years, and as soon as they closed down the 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 zoo or whatever yeah. to the public, they got busy. I mean, hey, but I was thinking like, can't you just like take the sperm of the damn nigga and then just inject it in the other? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, I was thinking and, like that if there was really if they were really if, close to extinction, yeah. extinction, yeah, the hell. 
Uh, yeah. But that means that somebody got to jerk the nigga off, though. Oh, and they think kind of small, so, like, <laughs> nobody, like, imagine that's your job description. <laughs> hey. Like, bro, what you do? Yo, I be, I be, I be fluffing, I be, uh, 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 I, I be, be spanking some pandas. Lot. Like, bro, what? Peace <laughs> privacy for them to fornicate. But even with all the slander, pandas are actually in pretty good shape. Mm. And that is a problem. With Damn, about 2,000 pandas alive today, pandas were recently demoted oh. off the endangered species list. Hmm. Yet giant pandas okay. still finesse a bulk of conservation efforts simply because they're cute. Yeah. Think about uh -huh. it for a second. Pandas have big yeah. eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They can remind us of babies. We wouldn't be this invested in their future. There's like 400 yeah. pandas left Bro, in the Get this out of my screen, bro. Know that because real talk, nobody's buying their child a plushie that looks like a deflated sunfish. Endanger that. Not to mention the animals. <laughs> 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 That's not our ecosystems if they go ghost like bees or certain types of Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Happen. Oh, we got to the bees part, bro. This, yeah. is, this, this, this is important. Yeah. Cause if bees die, we all dead. Yeah. I'm chatting, bro. So I don't know. <laughs> Not to mention the animals that could legitimately destroy entire ecosystems if they go ghost, like bees or certain types of plants. They become an afterthought because, yeah, pretty gets priority. It's like uh, that one gym yeah. teacher that ignores actually struggling students to help the attractive girls in class that don't like need or ask for it. That's right. Crazy. Pandas are hot girls. Side note: Why does it always seem like the gym teachers on felonious timing? Pandas aren't perfect, they're miles away from it, but at the end of the day, we've done far more to them than for them. But that's gonna do it for this video. Be mm. sure to check out my book for 100 animals that can absolutely fold you like a lawn chair, link in the description. Yeah, no, water. Damn. You need that's that a stuff. dope title. Tell your mother, tell pops you appreciate him. Matter of fact, might have to make a father's day video. Drink your water. Yeah. But until then, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Yes, sir. Uh, now watch till the end, here's some panda ASMR. Panda okay. ASMR, hold on. Damn. Busting that shit down. I'm saying. Damn. So like me when I'm on the mic. You fast. He <laughs> said, what you eating? <laughs> strawberry covered. Whatever you said. I'm gonna cover strawberries. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he yeah. making that shit look good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looked like um like a sugar cane kind of. Yeah. I already know that shit hard as hell. Oh yeah, for sure. Knowledge, get some yeah, knowledge in your head. Because you're a <clears throat> dummy. If you like the video, like it. Like it. Do the rest of the <laughs> If you like it, don't like it. You can't like it and not like it. Oh! You piece forgot that I don't like it. Oh yeah, I forgot the mic was here. Yeah, I thought it was in the camera. No, you gotta go to the camera because you gotta tell But then I gotta be like deep. Nah, nah, it don't matter. It don't matter, bro. Oh, whatever. Okay. Maybe next time. Yeah. You guys got a little, a little, a little fuck off for the one time. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. like the goddamn video. Yeah, and you know uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. Wait, see, well, he copied him. Yeah, feel me? Your mother.